Hello everybody, my name is Kai and I would like to welcome you back to another video. Now today's video is a very nice video on, on how you can save money when it comes to owning a bearded dragon. Now, the first thing that's going to come to cost is your actual bearded dragon. Now depending on its age, if it's a baby, juvenile, or an adult, it's going to cost more money if it's an adult and a bit less if it's a baby bearded dragon. Maybe if a friend has a female adult that laid eggs, then you might be able to get a baby for free, but otherwise you can have to buy it from the store. The next thing that's going to be expensive is a tank. Now, this girl does a video where her dad explains how she and her dad make her own tank from something from Ikea, so I'll put that in the description below for you guys to watch after you watch this video. Make sure to finish up watching this first. Now, the other thing that is going to be expensive is the actual substrate. Now, this substrate I bought from the store for about $15, and I got two bags of it. So that is quite expensive. If you do want to save that money, then make sure to 10% bleach your everything that you get from anywhere you get it, except from the pet store. And you can get like all the things in this tank right now, or actually stuff that I found at the creek, and I just bleached it and scrubbed it with some hot water and let it dry out in the natural sun. Now, all the things in here, like I said, have been bleached, so you want to make sure the, the tank is actually running for a while. Running for a while, at least enough time for it to remove all the bleach and get it out of the tank, so that just in case you know, you get anything on it, your beard dragon won't get sick. Then of course the lights, each bulb is about 20 to $50, which is extremely expensive, and I'm using a dome that's $40, so in total that's, that's about $130 if you get very good ones. Now, there is really no way to save money on this, but if you maybe find a renewed one that was used by somebody already but still can go for a little while then you can get that for cheaper and you can probably make it go for even longer to be honest now like i said here i didn't buy everything but i did not buy everything in this tank so some of the stuff is bought and some of the stuff isn't bought now what is bought are some of these mealworms, but I won't have to buy these anymore because they will actually breed in this oatmeal. And you want to get anything that has the word meal in it and just set your mealworms in there that you just bought from the pet store and they should be all good. Same with the dobia, dubia roaches, not dobia, dubia roaches. I just put them in here and they are continuing on breeding. There are multiple of them and there's even more than yesterday. Then here I have some Repti Calcium with D3, and here I have some vitamins. Now you are going to also have to buy these. I don't think you can get them from anywhere else. You're also going to need some fresh water and a cleaning utensil. And this whole tank should be looking very nice. Make sure to go down below in the description again if you want to know how to make your own tank. So make sure to just pop down below after this video is over and go ahead and watch it if you do want to go ahead and make your own tank. It's a very good video. Watch it all the way through and it really does help you out. Overall, your tank will be looking really nice and you won't even have to spend that much money. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching everything I explained in the video will be down in the description and if you did like this video then make sure to go down below subscribe to my channel and like this video turn on those notifications if you do not want to miss any of my future uploads and thank you guys again so much for watching I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers see you guys